Frontier is incredible. They are the most supportive group, the most supportive brand that is doing everything for the right reasons. yesterday man that's wild having to make adjustments yeah it was it was definitely not unexpected right Miami we always have at least one big water event at the tier water Palooza this year was a little bit special though I would say that I'm looking at it from the team perspective behind the scenes we had to make some really really critical calls last minute and I feel like the team responded really well and I think the coolest thing was actually how the community responded to it everybody seemed to be really receptive to the fact that we're putting athletes safety first and uh, didn't want to subject them to something that would put them at risk to preserve the test. The test ultimately is going to be what it is. I do think it was fair and well-rounded. I know there's some challenges with some of the movements we implemented, um, such as strict pull-ups, but we did the best we could with what we had. Miami weather is unpredictable, and uh, I think now it looks like the rest of the weekend should be clear, knock on wood. Um, especially today, we got some sun shining. Um, it's going to be a special one. I'll, I'll, I'll when did you guys come up with that condition plan? Was it like you had that in place for a few days, or was it like, you know, like the weather's bad, we need to just make the adjustments now? After 12 years of putting on the event, we know we've got to be ready for it. It's, it's, it's almost like it's a contingency plan. You know you're going to have to activate at some point throughout the weekend. So no, we. when we program, we program the entire weekend as we desire, as a first and foremost, with planning for the best and, and, and greatest weather. But ultimately, what we had there is that's about two months in the making. So those were all contingency events that we had in our back pocket. Now, if there was to be, let's say it was a light rain and we felt comfortable with the elites doing toes to bar because they had grips on, and maybe we would have preserved that for one of the one of the workouts that we changed. I think that's actually for today. Um, no, point being, we have contingency workouts done months in advance just in case we have to activate. Well, I want you to get back to work. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it, man. Hi, how are you? Doing well. What brings you to uh, my wife is competing in the uh, Masters Women's Division, 45 to 49. So she just finished up her first event. Is that on the barge? That was on the barge, yeah. So pretty cool. Yeah, she did well. So that's good. She thought she was just hoping to not finish last. And I think she was fifth or sixth. So we're happy. So you're the one at the game. I am. Yes, yes. It's going good. It's going good. I um, actually qualified. We qualified as the top American team to compete here on a team. And then one of my teammates got a no rep penalty. And so we got that score taken away. So now I'm just here uh, with my wife and my stepson, who was my partner last year. Hayden Weddle is on CrossFit Omnia in the elite team division. So we're excited to watch him, excited to watch my wife. So little little mom and son action. Are you going back? That is the goal, yeah. I'm gonna be as part of uh, Ocean State CrossFit. I don't know if that's been announced, but I just kind of did. Uh, my teammates are Ethan Helbig, Christine Middleton, and Christine Best. Um, so we'll be out of the North America East. So we're hoping to be one of the top teams um, in America for sure, but specifically in the East. So different region this year, uh, but I'm pumped about that. Yes, yeah, we should have a really strong team uh, with both strength and fitness. So yeah, we're real excited. That was kind of. Um, the goal was just to make it back and be on an even better team this year um, since I didn't get the experience last year. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I actually met up with Ethan yesterday here. So he's working at the Victory uh, booth and his wife works uh, for the Two Pood. So pretty cool. I'm trying to. You know, everyone looks like a vegan yogi. I got to help them out, right? I mean, CrossFit's great until you want to build muscle. So you got to get in here. So we're talking training, you know, getting people into programs, hooking up with free swag, free body transformation challenges, lots of cool right Thunderbro gear. Yeah. 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 There are some big things. The pro, this is gonna be the first year that we have a handful of Thunderbro affiliates. 
Um, so now a couple of CrossFit gyms have, you know, transferred their gym over to a functional bodybuilding gym, and they're starting to run our stuff and going through our education stuff. We have a whole new education platform we're launching, so people can understand hypertrophy science, exercise science, and and the process of, of you know body transformation from a nutrition perspective. So all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, how's it going? Two of the three milks. Guys. That's it, man. Two of the three milks. That's it. <laughs> we're only missing the main ingredient. Yeah. <laughs> involved with these guys? Uh, Pasty well, and he's white. He, yeah, I'm super wide from my stand that Patrick just hit me up. Now I was going to go on a team with Hendrik and Yonne and uh, Yonne dropped out. I had booked the flights already. Patrick knew of that and he contacted me. So yeah, that, that was easy. That was an easy yes. Yeah, that's why we're here. Of course. How are you doing? After the day one. I feel like I've been hit by a bus, but you know, right. that's par for the course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, a little rough? A little rough. A little rough. Um, the lift was great. I made both my lifts. I had a little PTSD from last year. I missed my first lift last year at Wadapalooza, so played it a little tier safer. Tier Wadapalooza. What's up? Tier, tier Wadapalooza. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do it right. Um, but made both my lifts, so that was awesome. And then with the weather, uh, they changed the events and... Not for your favorite? Not necessarily for my favor. That's okay. I survived. <laughs> are, you ready for, are you ready to swim? I'm ready to not drown. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> so man, what's happening? Good to see you. How's the weekend going? It's going good. It's going real good. Just trying to work out the logistics for the... Uh, the wipeout events that are coming up on the barge using the beaded ropes, so we're pretty excited. So all the, all the athletes get a beaded rope from you guys? Yeah, well working? we're gonna provide them, yeah, they're gonna walk out, get the rope, uh, you know, before they get onto the barge and, uh, you know, do the workout and then, and then uh, you know, hop in the water, come back out, so it's how'd the, fun. How'd the fitting go? Did you just give them the bag and then like, they gotta fit it or are you helping them? So that's, get... what, I, that's what I just did was delivered uh, ropes up to the warm up area and so the briefing team is going to brief them on um, what sizes are available, let them demo it out to figure out what they need. When they come um, to Bayfront, they gotta go under the tunnel and they'll meet us at the end of the tunnel and tell us which size they need. We just hand it to them, they go on the floor, set up their area. Um, Three, two, one, go, bang it, bang it out of the park, and then we'll collect them and then get the next heat going, and so just get a little merry-go-round. So it should be pretty smooth. How different is it, the double unders with a beaded rope versus the speed ropes that they're used to? Yeah, um, so it's, it's, it's really fun. I love it, right, because I like resistance, but um, it, it's almost like if you've ever jumped with a drag rope, it's got a little, it's got, it's like a mini drag rope. It's not as hard as a drag rope. It doesn't have as much air resistance and lag but way more than a typical speed rope or any cable rope, right? So, so it'll start off feeling great, and then once you get 30, 40, 50 reps in, then you really start to feel the fatigue start building up because you're working harder than you, than you realize. Um, so it'll be fun, especially with that workout, just to see who gets gassed, you know? And how bad does that hurt if it hits your toes? Well, not bad. I mean, I, I don't think it's bad, but uh, you shouldn't hit your toes, right? So you shouldn't, shouldn't be tripping. Um, yeah, you know what, I mean, they're, they're barefoot, the, the plastic, uh, there might be some nicks and bruises here and there, but not near as bad. I'll, when they were planning this workout, they were, we were looking at a heavy rope, like a one pound Kronos rope was one thing that was coming up. And I, I nixed that idea because that would have, there would have definitely been broken toes if, you know, jumping barefoot. So beaded rope, it should be fine, you know, it'll be good. It's gonna be exciting, can't wait. And the colors are gonna be awesome. It's gonna be, I hope you get a good video, because it's gonna be super, Super Waza color fest going on. That's where it's gonna hit. Hold on. This stuff's gonna fly out of my pockets. Is <laughs> <laughs> a little testing in before the event today? Yeah, yeah. We'll just like size them up for a rope here. See if you can find the ground. Yeah. Huh? Find the ground. Find the ground? Yeah. Medium's the one. Medium's the one. For sure. Wide one. Oh, yeah. How's that feel? I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Only like 140 more. Yeah. 
Perfect. Are you guys doing doubles? So medium for the event. Just doubles, I think. Just doubles, okay. I drew blood yesterday. Huh? I did a crossover this and I drew blood. Do you want to try this small for me? Um, maybe. I'll try not. I'll try. You're going to go for the P-word. Yeah, you want to be fast. Hi, Barry. Less rope? I'm worried, like, I'm worried about the toes. Getting the toes slashed. I might, yeah. might wear my barefoot yeah. trainers with them. Now. For tier, tier barefoot trainers during the event. Velcro them on real quick. Hi, buddy! I, <laughs> make me laugh. That was the first thing you ever said to me. Make me laugh. Have you met Ali? Yeah, we met really oh, Okay, and yeah. Nicole? I'm Nicole. I'm uh, My middle name is Scrunchy Lady, apparently. So. Nicole Scrunchy Lady. Yeah. And that's Brian. Mr. Spin. Nice to you. How's it going today? Yeah. I'm kind of like working it, trying to think of ideas. So it's like dancing. I have no ideas. No, none. I, that's how I mostly start my day. With no ideas and I just... Um, the more, most of the time when I start moving, I start thinking. You know what I'm saying? But what are you doing right now? You must be bored if you're interviewing me instead of an athlete. Take it nice weekend, easy, get some warm weather. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get a tan. I'm like, <laughs> Cleveland, I thought I was still in Cleveland yesterday. It was <laughs> rain and clouds. It was just, the only thing that was nice was the temperature. <laughs> Are you gonna get some time to go check out the brothers compete? Excited to watch those guys compete. Spencer's competing individual, and then they're both competing on a team. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't want to throw down? <laughs> you never know, <laughs> right? You never know. I've Every year, somebody needs a, a, a replacement, so yeah. I Where brought my stuff. What are you doing with this, with this guy's? Uh, so this fit. is, yeah, so this is uh, a company that uh, I am a co-owner in. It's called Shrink Fit. We uh, provide gym management software. Soft, we provide gym management software to um, affiliates from all around the world. So everything from workout tracking to billing, reporting, all the kind of bells and whistles you need to run a gym. So over the last three years, I've had the opportunity to speak a lot of life into Stream Fit, you know, as a 10 year affiliate owner and creating really what I want to use on a regular basis. So our kind of goal was like, hey, let's figure out how to make this more affordable for gym owners and give them the opportunity to save some money. You're 150 bucks a month. We don't charge per member. And there's a ton of great programs in there that people can follow for uh, like affiliate programming. And uh, hopefully it makes your life a lot easier. So it's been fun, yeah. What's up, brother? Enjoying it so far? Rad, yep. Pretty uh, exciting announcement for me this yeah, weekend. Yeah. Good to be joining the squad. What, what made you want to join those guys? Man, everything about them. When they launched here at Wadapalooza a couple years ago, they just had a, a vibe that I felt like I connected with. Yeah. That's a very cliche term, but I don't know. I've wanted to work with them for two years, so I'm glad it's finally happening. That's very cool, man. Now, Friday, get to bounce around, show some love to all my other partners, and then lock in and focus on competing Saturday, Sunday. You guys have the team aspect down. You guys repeated it down under. Yep. Not many of your teams have competed together before. Does that give you a much of an advantage, you think? I really hope so, especially because we have, it's kind of loud here, but yeah. we have a couple worm workouts this weekend, and we've been able to practice that over the last week and before, so fingers crossed we can pull off the W. I believe in us. Number one, Kira Napoli. Lane number two, Emily Rolfe. Lane number three, Fee Sagafi. Lane number four, Danny Spiegel. Lane number five, Julia Hannaford. Lane number six, Jessica Andrasnik. Yeah. Oh, start. You knew it. Start. Uh, look, it's not even wet, I don't think. I put a glove on it and then I wrapped the frog tape around and then I had my watch here and it started to come undone so I put my watch over it. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No. It, Australia's way colder. I was like stressing and I think as well the bike got me a bit warm so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know yet. Well, to be honest, as soon as like it was, I couldn't even press my thumb before. But I think the adrenaline makes the pain go away. So I'm hoping that will happen again. I'll be sweet. 
uh, it's kind of like a drag rope. Like, it doesn't feel like it's going to be like a drag rope, but when you do it, it's kind of a similar, and I don't know, it was fun. All right, heat number two, your lead man making her way to the competition floor. Make some noise. Heading out to lane number one, Lucas House. Lane number two, Jacob Hart. Lane number three, B. Marianos. Lane number four, Spencer Pension. Lane number five, James Sprint. Lane number six, Samuel Poirier. Awesome competition, really. It is an awesome competition with the best people and the best environment, bro. On that last swim, mm -hmm. you come off the, the double unders mm -hmm. behind Brent. Mm -hmm. How did you pass him? Like, what was um, the game plan and, and how did you get around him? I just knew, you know, we didn't do so much yesterday where I'm smoked. Like, I can expend all my energy on this last swim right now because all we have is a minute and a half after that. So I expended from the last buoy. I just turned it on and kind of tried to swim as hard as I could with good form. Yes, sir. Dude, man, yeah. a, just keep it up, man. Thank this you, bro. So I'm excited to see what happens in this next one. Hoping for that top five, but wherever I place is where I play. So I'm going to keep building from these competitions. Thank you, bro. No, it's for a good cause. They donate $5 every box sold to uh, a Navy SEALs family who uh, passed away. So that's pretty cool. Everyone here is so strong. I've never been to like a place with so many meatheads besides the Olympia or like the Arnold Classic. So different though. All right, I brought my friends to try your meat. Whoa, shoot, what's up, dude? Yeah. Yeah, so what we do, so this bag right here has 102 grams of protein. So you feel it's a four ounce bag. It's got 102 grams of protein. And so we sell these bags in this box. The reason that we do the box is we're a veteran owned company. And I'm actually still active. I'm gonna get out this year. And in each box, we tell the story about somebody that passed away in the Iraq Afghanistan war. And then we give $5 per box directly to the family. So that's why we want to incentivize people to try it today because the bigger we get the bigger the checks that we send to the families yeah so this month it's the watkins family five dollars of every box goes directly to the family three two one go mike the chills have set in the 20 fittest women here on tier one palooza taking the stage for the last time Starting off with 90 feet. Kettle Bell, Mixed Grip Lunges, and early leader, Danielle Brandon. First to pull is Daniel Brandon. Let's go, guys! Let's go, guys! Come on, guys! Guys, let's go! We've got two love times here. First red after. He's seated, making it a little bit more challenging, but not for Danielle Brandon. The upper body looks full. She can't be stopped.
not going to make a difference because Bowser's going to bump that too. Unless, no, but they could put it between us. Yeah, and the point spread's going to be... They beat me by a fair bit. But if you... Depends on like how many guys got between you and Bowser. Yeah, I tried to turn on that last line. You almost got him. I don't know. I'm happy with this sweet... Yeah, King, again, King, of, King of Miami, you know, you right? You do this a long time. King of Miami. You guys didn't pick him. None of y'all. And you thought like that he gave up too many points on the. Uh, he should have won this thing going away. Yeah, yeah he, yeah, he, he could have won this like by 30 any plus. Any yeah. Yeah. Could go to I'll tell you what, though, Quant was excellent. Quant was excellent this weekend. Yeah, he looked really, really good. But I mean, Ricky just—if Ricky wanted to burn that down, he would have burned it down. He knew what he had to do. He just played the—he just, played the, he just played the field. He had that big lead. He was like, "All right, I'm good." Appreciate all you guys being out here. Well done. Great way to tell you what. One shoulder surgery. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Hey, King of Miami. Hey, that was. Perfect. And still, right? And still. Perfect execution. Proud of you, man. That was beautiful. I'm glad that wasn't. Right. I'm things. glad Bukowski wasn't plunk. Yeah, <laughs> you played it perfectly, Forget though. Tomorrow. Yeah, we have two more days of competition wow. remaining. I had it. I had it. I, had it. Our our I know you did. Tomorrow, yeah. Our league team division. Always. Oh, oh, <laughs> you're at tier one. Watch out. In fact, hire me now. That's when you see your favorite CrossFit athletes jump in. Feel good? With your other favorite CrossFit athletes. I didn't feel that good, to be honest. And then throw it down. Yeah, I know. Two days of competition. Well, you flew across the, the world it was three tired. days ago. Yeah, I know. I'm tired. Yeah. Hey, you I just can still win when I'm tired. You're fit as fuck. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Tough. How, Emma, how hard is it to sit there on the sidelines and have to watch Jack? Uh, I just get like, yeah, really quiet and like focused in on what he's doing. But I love watching him. He's improved so much. He's like, his games to now, he's been working so hard. So it's like, nice to see it all pay off. Did you have any FOMO for having to watch? Honestly, no. <laughs> I've just been enjoying being on this side this time, but. Yeah. Awesome job. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. He did great. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. I know, yeah. Very good. Really good. It's fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. I put the kettlebells down once in the last one. Dude. Yeah. 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 Yeah
like good good place to check the condition and need to get better at some some things. What, what are you gonna be working on in between now and the next few months? Uh, well, strict pulling needs to be better and like overall conditioning. Yeah. If you're not, if you're not scared, you may not be going. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. if it's the last one. If you're scared on like the second round, you're like, oh. And when you have a three point lead and you're not scared, like, yes. you're doing something. Did you feel like you're able to like control uh, the game and slow it down yes. at the end there? Yes. Um, yeah, I felt like I had a lot more awareness of, you know, like, obviously only going into it, but also like, knowing Gabby was probably not going to be able to make up an entire yes. lunch yeah. length on me. If I broke, yeah. and if I didn't break, I was risking it. Yeah. Um, I was going to be in Atlanta. Yeah. I know. No, we're like a Gucci, a fake Gucci bag, but everyone knows it's just like. I, I was know. under the impression yeah. Steve Irwin was about. No. Somebody told Steve me. Steve Irwin's just Australian. Australian and Bogan are very different. Like if you're Australian, Australian, Australian is like you just like love Australian. Like you know what a red is. Right. You just know. Bogan, you, you gotta come to Australia and I'll show you. I can't explain it. It's just. <laughs> They're bougie, but it's fake. You know, bougie. like an Eshe? What's an Eshe? No, Chris, that's Australian. That's Australian. He's using Australian terms here. Like, I think it's people who um, a hood rat. That's the. A um, hood rat. A hood rat. Okay. So, right. you know? <laughs> that's like an Eshe. So, Bogan's are Atlantean. I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry. I get what you're saying. Like, <laughs> they want to look good, but it's cheap. Yeah. They are cheap. They are cheap, and you know it, but they don't. Great, great, great to competition, man. Thank you very much. I'm happy to hear that, man. I feel yeah. pretty proud. Ready for the team? Yeah, you know, the team poses some interesting challenges, uh, different than the individuals, but I do think the individuals went off very well. I think we still have the same concern around weather, you know, Saturday and Sunday. It's kind of a crapshoot right now, I think, how it'll turn out. Um, but the star power on the team side is next level, in my opinion. I mean, the individuals was phenomenal too, but uh, it's going to be cool to see how those, and it's another question, right? Another like nuanced part of the story is how do the teams perform with athletes that competed individually? Because we made a big intentional effort to make the volume something that athletes could handle both. That was a like, big, big, big uh, objective this year. So we'll see if they're able to recover well and still perform well. It'll be really cool to see somebody on the podium and individuals also podium and yeah. teams. What about the Virginia Key? Uh, North Park, Point Park, like yeah. the race. Yes. How'd you guys come up with that? Like, how diff tricky is that rip that course gonna be? Yeah, it's uh, well, for one, I just want to say it. If you're gonna publish this tonight, it's spectators. Unfortunately, are not. It's an offsite. Nobody can go. They won't be allowed in. So just don't even try to come. Just put that out there first and foremost. But uh, the inspiration for that actually came years and years ago. Back in I think it was 2015, we visited the park myself and Guido, who was one of the one of the co-founders of the event, and. Uh, and a few others, and we were really close to executing it a few years ago. They're actually bike trails. So yeah. if you hadn't gone there before, there's like boardwalks and little hills. It's probably the only hilly area in Miami. Um, and it's called Bike Race because it's a bike trail, but also you have the buy-in for individuals of ripping through a 50 or 40 cal bike. Um, so it will be challenging. It's about a 5K, right? Like, gonna say that it's uh, yeah. it's tough to judge exact distance uh, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and we used to do offsites all the time it's been a few years since we did an offsite we used to do some offsite running um, we've done like an OCR course offsite so I think this is nice to get the, the athletes a, a feeling of like they're competing at the, the highest of levels and yeah. get to head to an offsite. How do the teams do that like how is the team competition like is it a relay are they all at the same time what is this? Yeah for the offsite run Brian it is a uh, it's all of them running at the same time, but they can split up. There's no rope. Some of the trails are pretty tight, so we thought it'd be a little bit of a, of a hazard. So it's just a combined time of all three. Got it. Any uh, surprises you've had so far or anything that you've had to kind of overcome in the last couple of days? I mean, of course the weather, but I'm not surprised about that, right? Yeah. I think we've gotten, our team's gotten super dialed at how to handle that. Um, outside of that, you know, there, there's, there's always little things. Like at the end here, we just had a little challenging, like entering scoring. That wasn't because of anything here. It was actually a, like a, a tech yeah. issue with the platform we use. Um, and they were being affected by an outside source. It was nothing to do with even our internet or anything, but uh, that kind of delayed the closing ceremonies. But now uh, we've overcome. Nothing nothing actually crazy, and except for the, the rain and the mud. There's a lot of mud, and you probably yeah, have noticed it. Seen that. We're mulching the heck out of this place, and uh, I think it's going to be ready for tomorrow. Yeah. One last question, Tier as a partner, how great have they been the last couple of years? Tier is incredible. They are the most supportive group, the most supportive brand that is doing everything for the right reasons. I think 
a testament to that is the amount of time and of course dollars because that's what it takes to do is developing products for our community both shoes and apparel um, and it's evident like you can see they've come such a long way from their first iteration like their running shoes they released last year it's been one year and their new running shoes amazing and that's just a small example of how cheer goes above and beyond and the product they're giving our athletes and volunteers are incredible like they really are great and they make really quality stuff yeah absolutely man. well go get some sleep you're gonna need it man amen thanks man you All too right. thank you